Hi everybody. So today we're going to be looking at this 3.5 channel radio control helicopter. It's called the Skyline and it comes with gyro. So gyro is just a technology which you know helps keep the helicopter stable during flight, makes it easier to fly. So let's uh, look at this in a bit more detail, take it out of the box, as well as take it for a test spin. So stay tuned. Right, so here is the Skyline with gyro. Um, this is a pretty large helicopter. And there are lots of these on the market. I mean lots. <laughs> now the reason I got this one was just because of its size. You know, it's a little larger, a little larger than your regular RC helicopters, and you know, this is like a toy, right? This is not like one of your expensive hobby ones that you have to build. This one can fly straight out the box. Uh, so here's like the power supply to charge the built-in battery. It's built into the helicopter itself, obviously. And uh, let's see, let's take a look. A little, wire, a little wire here. Here's the helicopter itself. It's pretty impressive little device there. That's another reason I got it, right? It's red, and I like red. And uh, it's nice. It comes with this uh, little remote. Radio control unit. And Here's the antenna, and the antenna extends pretty long. This is about end to end, I don't know, a meter? And by the way, this is an indoor slash outdoor unit. This, so you can fly this indoors, or you can fly it outdoors as well. Um, and I mean, ju judging by the length of the antenna, you can see that, yeah, this definitely can be flown outdoors. Let me just find the... Uh, Oh, there it is. Get that in there nice and tight. So here's the, as I said, this uh, is what you use to charge the uh, built-in battery. So before I go into the details, let me just compare, show how big it is. So tail to nose, it's roughly I said a tad under 16 inches, right? And here's a small model, and now you usually find a lot of these uh, on, for sale. Uh, and this little mini model, it's like a mini version of it. This one is about from tail to nose, about just under seven inches, right? So this is definitely more than twice the length of that, right? Um, now it does have, um, it does come with a set of replaceable um, uh, propellers at the top. Um, actually, not not the propellers. It actually comes with a set of this rear um, propeller here, which is responsible for making it move backwards and forwards. It comes with a spare one of those, um, but not these. But don't I actually? flown this a couple times and just crashed it like from 20 30 feet in the air and it hasn't broken uh, it's designed to take a good licking um, it's well very well designed very well built uh, pretty lightweight so this charger of course is used to charge the built-in battery in this unit now what you do it's very easy to connect it up because this has a, a special female connector and it can only connect to one 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 on this thing so there's two pieces of wire here sticking out um, 
when you're going to be applying this, you actually connect the two of them together. But when you're going to charge it, you just disconnect these two, so just pull them apart, and you have a male and a female plug. So obviously, this female plug will plug into the male plug on the helicopter. So I'm just quickly demo that. Now you can only plug in in one way because there is a little groove in the middle, so you cannot make a mistake and plug it in incorrectly. So you pretty much then just plug this in the wall. Now I've actually charged this. It does take a while to charge, but it does give you quite a bit of time of uh, flying. Uh, I get I get about 12 to 15 minutes on a single charge. Uh, and judging, seeing that it's a larger helicopter, I'm, it's pretty impressive. So anyway, that's how you charge it. Of course, when you're done. Uh, so when it's charging, by the way, there's a little red LED on this thing um, that comes up and it indicates when you know when, when the charging is done. Anyway, so that's that. Now we just disconnect this. When you're ready to fly, you just connect these two wires together, and you're good. Anyway, so this is the helicopter. So here at the back, we have the tail section here, and that controls you know when it goes forward. And it goes backwards, right? And then we have our gyro system here, which makes it more stable and makes it easier to fly. You can actually turn it uh, like this, and then you can move forward and backward, and then of course you can go up and down. And uh, and it's a very nice looking uh, helicopter as well, as you guys know. I love the color red, so you know, hey, a red gadget or a red toy like this would look nice in my arsenal of other red gadgets and gizmos. So over here we have a little power switch turn it on and off and um, I think there's some charge in it so let me just turn it on so when you turn it on it actually has this nice little Christmas tree effect here with these LEDs that go along the back here there's an LED at the front as well nice and bright actually there's two LEDs um, and um, actually let me see if I can turn it on and give you an idea I think the batteries are nearly dead but just to give you an idea of how it sounds when it's turned on. Turn on the switch. I just turn on the switch on this thing here. And I don't need to extend this because the I'm right next to it. So let me just uh, hold it here. And uh, what you do, you move the 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 up down this one on the left up one. Oh, it already it already is paired. So if it wasn't paired, you just move it up and down once, and then you then move it up again, and it will start working. So this has a lot of pull, I can actually try to lift my hand up. So as you can see, I'm in a small room so I'm just going to keep holding it because if I let it go it's going to hit the roof and crash, right? So Now to show how strong this is, I'm going to just relax my hand. And it's actually trying to pull my hand up, right? That's how powerful this is. Put the light there. Flashing LED. So here you have it. The skyline with a uh, fully working motor, gyroscope, oops, gyroscope, and it has a back propeller here which controls the forward and backwards, the actual movement, now LEDs at the front, uh, and the battery is built in, so all you have to do is just plug it into your AC adapter, leave it there for a little bit, and you're good to go. Well, one other thing is, just to show you, so the back propeller, if I was to actually move it forward, watch the back propeller here. I'm actually going to move this forward. So if it was in the air and I wanted to move forward, this propeller will actually kick in like this. All right. And if I want to go backwards like that, then the propeller is going to go the other way. All right. So, and if, as you can hear, you can hear the engine.
to turn it off now because I don't want it flying in the room here and here's the controller so it's it's uh, nothing special I mean it's just uh, you have your on off switch here and then this of course controls the you know going up and down and this is uh, when you want to move it forward and backwards and then you can actually make it turn while in midair like that you can just stay stationary and turn while going left and right right and that's all done through the gyro mechanism which is cool um, there is a little trimmer here which you can turn and that will actually um, control this trim so when it's in the air hovering you can actually trim it to turn have its nose turn right all that right and then it has some fake trimmers on the bottom here they're not real that's just uh, some design because it's you know cheap cheap controller and it has this little thing here so when you actually increase and decrease your throttle these little LEDs actually light up which is kind of cheesy but hey hey it's I guess something to look at uh, now again this model is designed for uh, kids 14 and over so um, you know if you're younger than 14 it's not recommended for you and again this is designed for indoor and outdoor flight okay um, you can actually use this outdoors now it does take four AA batteries on the back um, so you just you know, I'm not, not on, on screw it I can just tell you it takes four AA batteries so believe me at face value for that one Now it does take in the back here four AA batteries and as a safety precaution to get access to those batteries you need a mini Phillips screwdriver under that small screw and there you have four batteries and you're done you just uh, put the cover back on like so and there you go so that ladies and gentlemen is your gyro uh, control helicopter um, so that ladies and gentlemen is your radio control helicopter um, now as I always have in my videos there's a link below where you can get these off of Amazon um, so check it out um, and what we're gonna do right now is just uh, I'm just gonna charge it up with my little charger here and uh, we're gonna go outside and just do a test run Alright, just put the power, connect the battery up, and we're going to turn her on, and see how well she flies in outdoor conditions. Alright. I might need to turn her on first. Yeah, it's usually a good idea.
Hey everybody, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and, you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have, you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're gonna be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. And by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is, I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.